Hey, Denon High School, this is Mr. Aiden, and I'm going to be detailing a projectile motion problem. And so we want to take a look at the second half of this problem, the problem where the object A, the block A, is going to be coming off the table. Now the things we want to zero in on is that the table is 0.8 meters high, and a target is 1.2 meters away from the table. Now the first thing we want to do in this type of problem is split up between x and y. In our x part, we know that the distance or displacement in the x is 1.2 meters. We don't know anything about the time, we don't know anything about the speed that it left the table, but the only equation we can use in the x is vx equals dx over t. Because we know that the object will be moving with a constant velocity in the x direction. Now, what do we know about the y direction is, we know the displacement in the y, or the height, is 0.8 meters. We also know that in the y, we have the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. We also know that the initial velocity in the y is 0 meters per second. And that's going to really help us out to be able to find the time. And so we're going to use our equation Displacement is equal to VIT plus one-half GT squared, or AT squared. Now we know the displacement is 0 0.80. The initial velocity in time is zero because of the initial velocity. We know it's one-half. We know gravity is 9.8. And we have time squared. When we work that out on our calculator, we end up solving for time. And time ends up being 0 0.40 seconds. Now something we know about time, time is the same in the y as in the x. It's the only thing that's the same in the y and the x. And so when we use vx is equal to dx, that's 1.2 meters, divided by time, 0 0.40 seconds we end up finding the velocity in the x to be 3.0 meters per second, or 2.97, which if you look at the significant digits will end up being 3.0 meters per second. If we take a look at what the questions have asked us, A asks us to calculate the time elapsed from the instant block A left the table to the instant it struck the floor. That was the time for the y. B asks us to calculate the speed of the block as it left the table. There's no speed in the y direction, the vertical region, but there is speed in the horizontal region that gives us the parabolic motion. Hope this helped, Danellen, and uh, I'll be back later to give you some more uh, vodcasting on different problems. Thanks, and good night.